Hi, it's me. I'm in a barn. I had an idea because I want to do some archery and I get very sick and tired of dragging the bail in and out. So, you know, bear with me. I had a sled and I thought I'd mount the bale on the sled and then I can just drive the sled out to wherever I want to do some archery. It's a Sunday and the weather is good and we're on a, this, this route that everybody loves taking so there's lots of traffic motorcyclists stuff like that happening our boys are working on the horse field and the next door neighbor is working on the cow field and there's traffic passing by lovely quiet place today it's a brilliant day to vlog because there's no wind. But when there's no wind and there is sun, there's tourists. Ah, okay, here we go. I have two bows. I have my Mongolian style archery bow and I have a children's longbow, which a friend of mine made when he was a young boy. He made it by hand and it was a gift from him to me. This one looks fabulous on photo shoots. It's very light, which makes it a perfect practice bow for first time archers, but also for training your horse with. You don't want to spend all your strength on the bow. You want to focus on the horse in the beginning. So this is a lovely practice bow. I really like this one. Mongolian style bow is a lot heavier, but for its type, it's pretty light. I think it's around 20 pounds, if even that. Oh, I'll, I'll show you how to string this one close up. Give me a second. So if you want to string up a bow, you can put this end on your foot right where the curve is. And then you can put your other leg through if you like and rest it against your calf and then push down with your arm. And see my arm pushing down, that will slacken the line. And your feathers usually have two of the same color. That is a flat, flat, uh, that is a flat side of your arrow and then one pointing out. That way it can pass the bow like so. So that the flat, the, f <laughs> the flat, flat end of the fletching goes towards the bow. I tend to hold it like this, thumb and finger. You can have two fingers around it or you can have a thumb ring. I am not a professional archer. These are very basic instructions. That's kind of like a disclaimer. Make sure that the arm that pulls out the bow is not stretched because then the bowstring will go against your arm. You will feel it. It will hurt. You'll only do it once or twice and then you won't forget. <laughs> Keep your elbow, that elbow high. Preferably shoulder height, maybe a little bit higher if you're aiming lower. So you can aim your height like that. You can put the arrow higher or lower on your string. I like to keep it straight. And then just, you know, go for it. Just aim and release. Make sure you let go of the arrow and the string and not the bow. I use both eyes. Concentrate on breathing mostly and tightening my abdomen. Bam! Broke my arrow on the sled. That's why we have cheap arrows. Um, what else can I tell you? Share a little bit of wisdom. 
remember how many arrows you had in your hand so that when you retrieve them you know how many arrows are out there <laughs> I have made that mistake a lot of times that's a nice break that is a fixable break it can go another round I'm not gonna throw that away yet if you're really into archery and you want to learn go to your local archery club and ask them all the questions that you need to ask to be a great bowman bow woman bow woman bow woman if you want to do horseback archery you have to add horse to the equation i'm gonna get brisinger we have done a little bit of a training specifically on horseback archery but we've done a lot more training about noises, things going off around him, strange things touching him, um, having sticks high up in the air. All of that is done away from the horseback archery training, but it's still training and preparing your horse to do horseback archery. Hey buddy! Chances are that I need to voice over this whole section because there's tractors and cars and other traffic. Thank you for understanding my my vlog troubles. <sighs> what I want to teach my horse is that I can tap him with this and it doesn't mean anything. So when I'm on him and I accidentally touch my horse with a bow he won't get startled and he won't jump and he won't run away because it's going to happen it's like Murphy's law the law of chaos if it can happen it will happen same on the other side blunted arrows for this by the way so I want him to get used to me doing this right next to him and not be scared. He's completely loose. I don't have him tied up. He's in arena. He's safe with the other horses. So all the surrounding bits are set up for this to succeed. We're adding height to this. So he needs to be okay with motions like this happening around him. Good boy. Here we go. I've done all of this in separate trainings, so I know that he's okay with this and I can turn my back to him standing on a stool. I know that I'm not going to be bumped up because he got scared of something. There we go. Well done, boy. And from there on, we can try to do some mounted archery. Um, if you have somebody on the ground handing you the bow and arrows, Make sure that your horse is used to that happening as well. Good boy. I'm going to ask for consent first because I want Brissinger to be okay with me mounting. Good boy. Scratches are a reward for him, which is good. Yes, we were just in frame. <laughs> I don't have a lot of steering on him yet, so we're kind of going where he wants to go, but that was great. So I hope you have a go at horseback archery and preparing your horse for this. This is a short vlog, so train all these little steps over a few days, uh, weeks maybe, until your horse is totally ready for it. Don't try to push it, because it just needs one bad experience 
for you to start all over again. If you do make a mistake, don't get too worried because everything is retrainable. Have a great time. Release that inner Viking and we will see you next time. It's been taught, I don't really don't know why it's that is a rule, but it's, it's what I've been taught, so I'm doing that. So you never, you know, I'm not as young as she used to be. Oh yeah.